As an administrator, you can easily add and assign your employees a Cisco MPP phone via an activation code using Control Hub. This video will show you how to add a user, how to add a device, how to assign the device to a user, and how to generate an activation code for activating the device. Please note, adding and activating devices using the steps we'll be reviewing in this video only applies to the following Cisco MPP phones. Device type SIC do not support the activation codes feature will only be available to add by MAC address. To add a user, log into Control Hub. You will land on the Overview dashboard. Before adding a new user and assigning services, make sure you have enough licenses available for provisioning at each location. You can easily view your available licenses and total onboarded and unassigned users on the license tile. To add a user, select the Manage User button here. Then, select one of the following options for adding users, manually or by uploading a CSV file. For this example, we'll choose to add a user manually. Select Next. You can then enter up to 25 users either by email address or by name and email address. Enter and select Next. Here, you will add the services for the user. If the WebEx calling package is selected, you'll be prompted to assign the user a location and a phone number. If you need to modify your location licenses, you can do this on the Locations page found on the Services tab. Select the location and the phone number from the drop-down menus, then enter the extension for the user. Review and select Finish. When finished, the user will be added to your user list on the Users tab and will be sent a welcome email. Please note, you can change this setting in the Account Settings page. When the user receives the welcome email, they can simply select the Join button. Then, they'll be prompted to create a password and enter basic information, like first and last name. Once the user receives the welcome email and goes through the activation steps, it will read Active in the Status column. Now that a user's been added, you can assign the user a device. Select the Devices page. Here, you can see all of your assigned and unassigned devices. Select Add Device. Choose whether this phone will be assigned to a user or a place. Assigning a device to a place represents a physical location of the phone. For example, a meeting room. Assigning a device to a user means the phone will be assigned to the specific employee. For this example, we will be assigning a device to the existing user. In the Which User Will This Device Belong To drop-down box, select the user you'd like to assign the device. Once selected, Click Next. Here, you will choose the device type. For this example, we're activating a Cisco IP phone. Select the device from the drop-down menu. Once your device selection is complete, the How Would You Like to Set Up This Device option appears. Select Activate by Activation Code. You will receive an activation code. You can copy, email, or print this out for you or the end user to activate the physical phone. Enter the 16-digit activation code when prompted on the phone. Once entered, the phone will be activated and the status of the device will be green, available, and now viewable on the Devices tab.